What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a beard and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. It is good to be back guys and I have got a lot for you. I don't know if you could tell but I'm recording a lot of these all at once so for me I'm just coming back from a break. For you guys, it's been like a week of me being back or so. So Now, as many of you guys know, I do a very popular series here called Weapon Logs, where I take different knives or weapons or different um, martial arts tools and, you know, review them and let you know what I actually think of them, how they're useful, where they're useful, and if they actually are useful but today i'm doing something similar but not quite like that usually i review something that was sent to me or something you may not have already today i'm telling you guys that all that isn't necessary it's not necessary because you already have one of the most underutilized self-defense tools already in your house probably actually it's probably in your car too now that i'm thinking about it what is this super underutilized and super effective self-defense tool well let me tell you it's a pin Now it is true, I believe that the pen and in turn pencil is one of the most underutilized uh, tools for stealth defense that you can possibly have. I think it's better than keys. I think it's better than uh, basically anything other than, you know, an actual weapon. It's something that you will already have and can use very well for self defense. Of complete self defense for women. I'm Bob Jackson. Now first I want to talk about the pencil, more specifically the wooden pencil. Pencils uh, are good for self-defense but have a small, I guess, problem or bonus use depending on how you look at it. Pencils break. Um, this pencil is made out of wood, you know, just regular wood and it can break easily. So if you're using this as a weapon to stab into people that are attacking you uh, and to protect yourself with it, be very careful because sudden jerks in the wrong direction can cause this to break like that. And so if this breaks inside your target, yeah, I mean, that could be a bonus because I wouldn't want that in me, but it's really hard to now fight with half a pencil that barely fits in your hand. This doesn't quite work the same. So if you're using a pencil like this, it does have the possibility of breaking, you know, when you don't necessarily want it to. Now next we have the pen that you probably already have somewhere in your car or house or wherever <laughs> is the regular pin. It's just a regular ballpoint pin. The thing with this is that you get to use it as a solid material. It is made of plastic. It takes a lot more pressure and power to actually snap it in half. I low-key love this pin, so I'm not gonna actually break it, so sorry. But with this pin, you are able to hold it in the hand just like you did with the pencil and still have that bottom edge to be able to stab into someone that is attacking you, whether you stab in their hand when they're trying to grab at you, their body, and if you hit hard enough, it will even be able to stab and break some of the ribs if you hit truly hard. And lastly, we have our pin knife. Now this is a knife that I reviewed a little bit ago. It has a knife that shoots out the back just like that, but it also is made of aluminum. It is a metal pin, it's a solid metal pin. You're not gonna be breaking a pin like this. And so even if you don't use it with the knife feature, which, you know, why wouldn't you? But even if you don't, you still have a solid pin that you can use as a self-defense weapon should you need to, just like that. If you want to check out this pin in more detail, I have a review linked in one of the corners and I'll have links in the description uh, to where you can buy this pin if you want to check it out as well. Now what would a Modern Ninja video be without a tutorial? And so I want to break down a combination that you can use to protect yourself with a pin. It's nothing fancy. If you guys want to see more, definitely let me know down below and I'll do tutorials for, I guess, pin defense. Now, for this video, I'm actually gonna be using the metal pin right here. I'm not gonna be using the knife feature, but I will have a option to use the knife feature at the end if you really wanna know about it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off with a block. I don't think it is great to start off attacking with people. I wasn't trained that way. I don't train people that way. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start off with my front hand blocking an incoming punch to my face 
coming up just like that. Now you don't want to block too far, just far enough to protect yourself from the punch. So you're going to block and step to the side. Now once you do that block and step to the side, you're going to take that fist, that right hand, you're going to cross punch to the head just like that. Then you're going to use the pin part of your fist, so I guess the bottom of your fist with the pin sticking out, and you're going to stab into the stomach area as quick and as powerful as you can. Now, if your opponent is taller than you or much taller than you, you can instead of going for a rib shot where you would have to aim up, you can go for a leg shot and stabbing it into their thigh. Honestly, the leg shot is just as effective as the body shot with the added bonus of not letting them want to run after you afterwards. But the body shot is going to be more potentially fatal than the leg shot would be. Sweep the leg. So the choice is just up to you of which target you want to hit. Now if you do have the knife pin like I do, you would have the same process with the stepping out of the way blocking, punching across the face, stabbing into the leg or stomach, but you'd be able to open it and go for a stomach cut just like that. Or go for the knees, well not the actual kneecap, but above the knees, the ACL, I believe it's the ACL. Pretty sure it's the ACL, correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. But that will keep them from being able, but that will keep them from being able to hurt you and chase you after getting free. Cause remember, the goal is safety, not just killing them outright. Seat belts, so we can be safe. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps me out. It helps me grow my channel. I want to reach as many people I can so I I want to reach as many people as I can so I can continue to do the YouTube stuff because I really enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions for me, definitely leave them down in the comments below because I will be doing a uh, awesome giveaway and Q&A and all that fun stuff at 25,000 subscribers, which I'm almost at. I'm only like 3,000 away, so I can almost get there if you guys help me. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But with all that said, thanks for doing all that YouTube stuff and Notification Squad, you are my boys. I always appreciate you guys. But my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.